क्वेश्चन इज गिवन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स माइनस सिक्स माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टर्म हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टर्म लेट्स सी सॉल्यूशन क्वेश्चन इज थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव दिस इज क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन डू हेयर वन थिंग वी कैन रैशनलाइज दिस डिनोमिनेटर सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई इन डिनोमिनेटर इन डिनोमिनेटर बाय सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव यू कैन राइट हेयर मल्टीप्लाय मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर देन वी विल गेट थर्टी सिक्स times सिक्स plus square root of थर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव टाइम्स सिक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट थर्टी सिक्स टाइम्स सिक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय नो This is the a minus b and a plus b. So a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So a square that is six. So six square minus b square. B square is square root of thirty-five. So square root of thirty-five square is equal to thirty-six times six plus square root of thirty-five divided by. Six square that is thirty six minus square root of thirty five square is cancelled from square root so thirty five is equal to we can write this thirty six times six plus square root of thirty five right because thirty six minus thirty five that is one so it will become this now we can separate this term so we can write this square root of thirty six times Square root of six plus square root of thirty-five. Now is equal to square root of thirty-six. That is six times square root of six plus square root of thirty-five. Right? Now multiply and divide by two. So if we are multiplying and divide by two, then we will get here is equal to, uh, or you can write here multiply. And divide by two equal to six square root of. We have to multiply and divide by two. So two divided by two, and here multiply. So six plus square root of thirty five, right? So is equal to we can write this six times square root. Six to the twelve plus two square root of thirty-five divided by two. Right now is equal to six times square root. Now here this is twelve, so uh, we can write this seven plus five. Seven plus five is twelve, and seven five is thirty-five. So we are taking here seven plus five. Seven plus five plus two. Times square root of thirty-five is seven times five divided by two is equal to we can write this six square root six times square root. Now this is seven, so we can say square root of seven, square root of seven, and square is so it will become seven, right? Plus five, five we can write the square root of five whole square. Plus two times square root of seven times square root of five. We are separating term here. Divided by two. So this two also we can write the square root of two whole square. That is two, right? Now is equal to six times. Uh, one more thing is a square. You can say this is a square plus this is b square plus Two times. This is two times a b, right? 
so a square plus b square plus 2ab and here a is square root of 7 and b is a equal to square root of 7 and b is equal to square root of 5 now we can write 6 times square root of 7 square root of 7 plus square root of 5 this is a plus b whole square divided by square root of 2 whole square right now this is a square this is b square so you can uh, say if question is given like formula is a square divided by b square so we can write this a upon b whole square so using this formula we can write this six times square root and this is square root of 7 plus square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 and whole square because in numerator uh, square is there and in denominator square is there so here square is cancelled from square root now is equal to 6 times we can write this square root of 7 plus square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 right now is equal to 6 now we are separating a term here so we can write this 6 square root of 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 5 now is equal to 6 uh, this 6 we can write to square root of 2 times square root of 2 that is 2 times 3 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 5 now square root of 2 is cancelled from square root of 2 so left term that is 3 square root of 2 so is equal to 3 square root of 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 5 is equal to 3 square root of 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 5 so we can multiply this term with this and this so is equal to 3 square root of 2 times square root of 7 plus 3 square root of 2 times square root of 5 now is equal to 3 square root of 2 times square root of 7 7 to the 14 so square root of 14 plus 3 times square root of 2 square root of 5 5 to the 10 square root of 10 right so uh, here we can separate 3 because 3 is common so 3 we are taking common then left term that is 3 square root of 14 plus square root of 10 so we can say value of square root of 36 divided by 6 minus square root of 35 this is question is equal to 3 times square root of 14 plus square root of 10 this is the solution thank you